Maker has revealed to me, as there is but one world, one life.
If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps you should look among your fellow mages. I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the Conclave. Yes. You were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you'll note. Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. I won't pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars will get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. So you think the Templars are responsible? Why wouldn't she? Lucius hardly seems broken up over his losses, if he's concerned about them at all. You heard him. You think he wouldn't happily kill the Divine to turn people against us? So yes, I think he did it. More than I think you did it, at any rate. Does that mean the Mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition, at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the Mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lady Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. wish to protect the people from us we knew there would be some kind of reaction but i didn't expect the templars to make an appearance the people may just be assuming what the templars will do i've heard of no concrete plans you think the orders return to the fold maybe to deal with us upstarts i know lord seeker lucius i can't imagine him coming to the chantry's defense not after all that's occurred Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady.
occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? My clan never stayed in one place for long, though we primarily roamed the free marches. Oh? I didn't think your people roamed that far north, but clearly I'm mistaken. I'm told some members of your clan might still be alive. Do you intend to go back? Wherever I am is home enough for me. That's how I feel now, after years of tending to business for the Divine. Can you tell me more about the Seekers? The Seekers of Truth were born from the original Inquisition long ago, when it united with the Chantry. Seekers stood above the Templars, watching over them but also investigating magical events they couldn't handle. We were meant to be incorruptible, above reproach. How seldom does reality match the ideal? But what are Seekers exactly? Those who know anything of us think we are Templars. We do not use Lyrian, however. Our abilities are different, as was our original purpose. We disciplined the Templars and were accountable only to the Divine. And not even her, truthfully. So the Seekers commanded the Templars? No. The Order didn't assume command until after the Rebellion. The Templars have always feared us. When a Seeker arrived at a circle, they knew trouble was afoot. That kind of power is troubling. You begin to think you are the only one who can solve the world's problems. If you don't see a problem, it doesn't exist. If someone insists it does, they are the blind ones. Do you think that kind of problem could ever be fixed? Possibly. Though the Seekers themselves would need to change. They were clearly not willing to, even though they abandoned everything they stood for to avoid it. In my heart, I believe they can still be salvaged, but not by their own hands. You mentioned that Seekers have different abilities than Templars. Entirely. A Templar's abilities come from Lyrium and are designed to hunt mages. Ours come from ritual and many years of dedicated training. We cannot be possessed by demons and are immune to mind control. Useful, considering our role. Seekers can gain other gifts, though that depends on the individual. What kind of gifts do you have? I can set delirium within a person's blood aflame. Both mages and Templars bend before my will. Some Seekers use it to interrogate, others simply to paralyze. Once there was a Seeker who could use it to kill, that particular gift is considered rare. How does someone become a Seeker? Most Seekers begin training in their youth. I was much older, an exception due to my noble birth. We train rigorously for years. Our bodies and minds must be elastic to undergo the vigil, and most fail even then. Is the Vigil some kind of initiation? It is the rite every Seeker must go through in order to summon their gift. A full year of fasting, prayer, and separation from all distractions, including other people. We empty ourselves of all emotion, focusing only on the purity of our devotion. And the moment it finally ends, it's wonderful. Faith realized. I cannot put it into words. I wish I could experience that. If the vigil was not so arduous, I'd say more should attempt it. What if mages never needed to fear possession by demons? I'm told it is impossible, however. I suppose I'll never know the truth of it now. Why did your order turn against the Chantry? We originally united with the Chantry through a treaty that stated they would keep mages under control. It was felt Most Holy had tacitly allowed the Circle of Magi to vote on its independence, thus breaking the treaty. The Seekers saw themselves as justified, and they led the Templars into a war of righteousness. You sound like you disagree. 
We knew what was happening at Kirkwall, where the Mage Rebellion began. We looked into reports of Knight Commander Meredith's harsh treatment of her charges years earlier. But we found so many shocking cases of magical corruption, it was decided her actions were justified. If we'd been there when it happened, if we'd looked harder at the root causes, Mages were oppressed. What else did you expect? I expected us to do better. When faced with a problem, the Seekers would close ranks and crush it. We would find an answer, but only once we felt we weren't being coerced. The moment the Mages voted for independence, our response was predictable. It was difficult to watch. I've no more questions. <laughs>